What up, this is me in the movies, finally bringing you my walkthrough of Yu Gi Oh! The False Bound Kingdom. Love this game, by the way. Just saying. While this game is on, I'd actually like to uh, give a shout out to my friend, Flareon4398 on DeviantArt, uh, AquaTales138 on YouTube, if you guys want to look her up, she's awesome. So, with this game, I am going to start with Yugi, because you, know, you can probably get more monsters on the first run than you would on Kaiba's. And Kaiba's is kind of harder than Yugi's. Nothing against Kaiba, so that you should probably level up your monsters first before you do Kaiba's. Uh, I'm not gonna uh, read in this dialogue. If you guys want to read this dialogue, you can do it on your own time. Uh, the reason why I'm skipping by is because I have done this literally millions of times. That guy works for Kaiba. Or used to, at least. Hmm. Skipping dialogue. Skipping dialogue. Dual disc. It's kind of funny. Yu Gi talk, Yugi talking to himself. That guy's got a purple goatee. All right, they are about to engage. Oh wow! And. Voila! They're in the Falsebound Kingdom. And. Dang it, I forget his name. Huh, um. Shinon. Shinon, that's his name. Shinon. Shinon is actually a character in other Yu Gi Oh! games, which is kind of strange. You get to duel them every now and then, he usually doesn't talk to you that much. Talking to himself again. Alright, map. Now, I don't like doing uh, a Yugi uh, a Yugi playthrough campaign uh, because of this. It takes forever to go through the map. Just kind of boring. I want to get on with it. At least with Joey's or Kaiba's, you don't have to, you don't have to go through it that much. Oh, okay, so now I'm choosing my monsters. Don't forget to uh, mark Bizdis because you're probably going to need her monsters with you. Because, yeah, your monsters suck. Alright. Yeah, you know, it's stupid. That, 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 skeleton, that skeleton monster that uh, Sh uh, Shinon has, it should not be named Zombie Warrior because. The skeleton zombies, I would think, have uh, you know, zombie parts. It's just a skeleton. All right. And the reason why I'm doing this walkthrough is because number one, I love this game. Um, and number two, uh, I want to show you all how to get every single monster, which is a feat in and of itself. And right here, I am going to send Bizdith over to that marked location. And Shinon over here. I'm going to send Yugi into the bush. And it's not really hard to find this monster. Just some people may get caught up in doing what uh, the game tells them to do. And But if you just go into this bush, you will see in a moment... Yes, here we go. You get to fight Silver Fang. Pretty powerful. Pretty powerful. 1200 attack, starting out. Once you level him up even more, he gets pretty powerful. Pretty powerful. And 
while you're fighting Silver Fang, if you fight him with Yugi's team, you will narrowly defeat him. If you're luck if if you're not if you're unlucky, you might leave him with like 27 HP. Um, but if you do get a critical, or he misses, or just something, if you get lucky, you you'll get you will kill him, and that is good as long as you win. You get the monsters. If you lose in any way, like if they get more points than you or they kill all your monsters, you do not get the monster. So when you're fighting uh, roaming monsters, you do want to watch out for their points because if they beat you in points, they will not join you. And you do not want that because you get one shot for most monsters, uh, and then you have to play the you have to complete the campaign and then do that specific mission over again, and then you will get another chance at the monster. So, um, Silver Fang is usually pretty easy to beat, and, ah, oh, do not kill him, he has 2 HP left. See, yep, yeah, my score was better than his, so I do in fact get Silver Fang. And usually most monsters aren't super powerful if you're prepared. But there is one in particular that I have always, uh, I always hate. Um, it is fighting the Summon Skull in the Badlands, because he is ridiculously powerful. Alright, now that I set Fizdis into that location, they have sent a guy out to attack her. And I sent Yugi and Shinon over to the main base. And in this mission, there are two monsters that you can get. You already got the Silver Fang. I want you to defeat the boss here. You will get Blackland Fire Dragon with 1500 attack. And, well, he's, oh, I don't usually use him that much. He is, in fact, uh, usable in a fusion with Thunder Dragon. No, wait, that's one hit of them. No, never mind, never mind, just talking to myself. <laughs> um, like I said, uh, oh yeah, here we go, fight. Now, pretty early in the game, you're going to, uh, it's not going to be decisive fights. You're going to have to, like, whittle away, uh, each of their monsters one at a time, because your monsters don't exactly have that much attack. But later on in the game, once you get to like level 50 through 99, you will be able to own their butts. But, and what I usually go for when I'm fighting is I'll go for either the person with the most attack points or the person with the most action points. Because usually the person with the most action points can easily do more damage than the person with the most attack points. But Hitachi Giant has the most attack, and Zaragun, the Red Lobster, has the most action points. But. Hitatsumi Giant has twice the attack of Zaragun, so therefore I'm going to take down Hitatsumi Giant first. Bring Sword Splash. That's such a cool move, is it not? It's a penguin. It's a penguin, people. He's a he's a penguin. Fighting an ogre. Cyclops thing. By law, he shouldn't even be here. But he is, which makes him awesome. Oh no! Oh no, people! I just got attacked with string. You think you'd be able to dodge that, you know? You know, like, oh no, there's this lava thing. Oh, it's shooting string at me! I should probably dodge. Nah, nah. Oh, I got burned. Oh, how did I, how did that hit me? Oh. Score is a little bit lower, but they don't have that many uh, action points left. Matter of fact, they don't have any, so I will be able to win this fight and take out his attack giant at the same time, which is good. And killing monsters gives the monster that killed the monster a little bit more experience than the rest of his uh, partners. And the higher level the monster they kill, the more points they get. See, uh, Horn Amp did not get as much experience as Kana Kabuto or Penguin Soldier. Um, and when you beat them in a fight, they will get confused and have to uh, 
go back a little. So that gives you enough time to recuperate after a fight if you just so happen to win. But if you lose a fight in a castle but don't get your monsters destroyed, they will just get knocked back a tiny bit. Going to take out his larva moth this time because he has lower HP. I did tell you guys that. Um, sometimes I'll go for the person that I, that's easiest to kill right off the bat if I don't take too much damage. Which I should have done there again, but kind of too late. Um, Zergun and Kanakabuto kind of are almost the same monster in retrospect. They're both crustaceans, and they both gain the ability Lucky, and they both have Crap Attack. But Kanakabuto, I think, is better than Zergun because Kanakabuto gets the ability Lucky, and I think Super Stamina. Super Stamina increases your HP every turn by a little bit. And that comes in handy, just to make your opponent mad. But they, they both, I think, get the ability Armor, which increases their defense by a good amount, actually. Lessening the amount of damage that they usually take by probably about 100 or 150. Zero Gun's got one action point left. This fight will not end. Um, probably got to fight him one more time. Definitely. Guarded, so Zer uh, Kanakabuto does not have enough attack to break his defense. When a monster guards, if your monster has less attack than their defense, you will not do any damage to them and they will get points. So, what you can do is you can either wait, or you can just try to break through the defense with the monster with more attack than their defense. Um, I am actually going to stop this part of this episode, because YouTube only allows 15 minutes per video. So, I will see you in part 2. See you then.